Hey guys, it's Major and Minus here. I'm bringing you a commentary, a team deathmatch game on Overgrown, Call of Duty 4. Best game of all fucking time. I love this game. Nah, I'm actually joking. It's not my favourite game of all time. Gizzle 1 is my favourite game of all time. Or Bioshock 1. It's a close one. But this game is awesome still. It's a cool multiplayer game. Actually, Halo 3 is better than this as well. Sorry, I'm quite opinionated. But this game's cool. Bottom line. My favourite Call of Duty game for sure. At the moment, anyway. Modern Warfare 2 was cool, Modern Warfare 2 is fun, but this is just, it's got something special. And that is a reason why it fucking pisses me off that these fucking hackers are only fucking hacking this game at the moment. I, I never see anything like this on Modern Warfare 2 or Black Ops, yet Call of Duty 4 and Call of Duty World at War are just getting the fucking, they're getting the blunt of this fucking attack from hackers, and I just hate it. I hate these hackers, I want them to die. Genuinely, I'm not being harsh, I'm not trying to, you know... I'm not trying to be too harsh, I'm not being overly harsh, but I wish they'd die. I genuinely wish they'd die. And I know that's a bit cold, it's a bit cold hearted, but... <sighs> in real life as well, I'm not talking on the game, obviously, I'm talking about in real life. I want them to die, okay? Just, just chill out, just take a step back and just look at yourself and think, Wait a minute, I'm ruining a game that everyone loves, everyone knows and everyone loves, it's a great game, and yet people are sat there, fucking coming on with their fucking hacks, Oh, well, this is what I'm like. I join the lobby and I'm like, oh, wow, this lobby looks great. Looks like I'm going to have a lot of fun this time. And then some guys in the fucking sky sniping me with a fucking M4OA3 and I'm just like, oh, just leave me alone. And that can't, that cannot be fun, especially the people who go on the map. That cannot be fun. You're just sitting there on the map with an M4OA3 or an R700 or whatever shit you're bringing out and just sniping up, getting a 17 for 0 KD, is that genuinely fun? And then they get bored on that 17 for 0, kill themselves, so they can go for a helicopter again, and I'm just like, are you seriously that much of a cunt? Like, genuinely. Just fuck off, stop putting helicopters on the map. And the thing is, for me, is I always want to stay in those games and try and beat the hacker, I don't know why, I just want to get a better KD than the hacker, and I just genuinely usually end up frustrating myself more than anything. And you got to put up with that stupid infected writing in the top left corner. It's just like, ugh. But anyway, I didn't want to talk about hackers. I just had a little rant to put out because that was annoying me yesterday. The amount of hack gate lobbies I got into yesterday was just insane in the membrane. But um, what I wanted to talk about uh, this commentary was my expectations for games this year. Because there is a lot of games coming out this year and... Um, I don't know, it just seems like it's going to be a pretty insane year for games, like both single player games and multiplayer games. Um, and what I'd describe to be the big players this year are Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3, and kind of Gears of War 3. I know a lot of people won't consider Gears of War 3 being a big contender, but after playing that beta, I'm sorry, it is a big contender, it just is, there's just no denying it. Dedicated servers, four player co-op on the thing, you can play Horde, the Horde looks sick, the Horde you're going to have a tower defense style gameplay in it, it just looks amazing, but anyway, didn't want to rave about uh, Gears of War 3, I wanted to talk about Modern Warfare 3, Battlefield 3, Gears of War 3, all of them versus each other. So I'll start with Modern Warfare 3. Modern Warfare 3 is a game that a lot of people are, like, getting their hopes up for. Like, they're starting to believe that this could be the game where they actually get it right. And, like, not that that's not going to happen, but I think that's a bit of an optimistic thing to think. Because it's not Infinity Ward making this game. Not at all. It's Sledgehammer making this game. And Sledgehammer have no reputation for making games whatsoever. And not, not for good or bad, really. Um, I mean, I can't even remember the game they made. They made a really weird game that, uh wasn't that critically successful, wasn't that acclaimed, and yet we're putting all our faith in them to make a great game. And it's not like I don't think they will make a great game, it's just, it's a bit controversial to say that Modern Warfare 3 is going to be the best game of this year by a mile. I'm like, hmm, have you looked at the other games? Have you looked at the competition? I mean, I think it will be good, don't get me wrong, and I don't think, I hope that they won't fuck this up this time, like like they did in Modern Warfare 2. I mean, Modern Warfare 2 was so close to being the fucking finished product, and then noob tube in one-man army, and then it never got fixed, and it was just like, Ugh. But, it does seem like, that this fucking time, that they're going to get it right. Um, and I hope they do. But also, I think what's going to happen is, I don't know, like, because it's Sledgehammer and they're a new company, I think they'll be feeling a lot of, pl uh, a lot of pressure from people um, buying the games, um, like, with a mass market. So I think what they're doing is they're kind of just sticking to the code of Infinity Ward. Um, 
that they put down with Call of Duty 4 and Modern Warfare 2. I think they're just really sticking to the basics. And that's not a bad thing. I just hope it doesn't work against them. I hope it's not, like, you know, I hope it's not samey. I hope we, we don't get bored of it by the time it's out. Um, but, like, it, it could work to their advantage, but at the same time it could work to their disadvantage, um, it being similar to before. Like, I mean, honestly, like, if they made a Call of Duty game that was balanced and had good weapons, didn't have any annoying perks, um, and the kill streaks were fairly balanced, like, it could be an awesome game, um, and it would be something new to experience. So I hope that's what happens with Modern Warfare 3, but that's all I'll say on the matter. It's, it's not that I don't think it's going to be good, it's just... I don't know how people can say, this is going to be the best game ever. I'm just kind of like, just sit back and just think about what you're saying. Maybe it might not. <laughs> don't get your hopes up too much. Um, Battlefield 3, the graphics look amazing, but I'm starting to think that Battlefield 3 is kind of a scapegoat for people who um, are starting not to like Call of Duty. I think that's why people are, like, people are putting a little bit too much expectations. Don't get me wrong, the graphics look sick, but we haven't seen that much of the gameplay. I mean, we've hardly seen anything. You see little small clips from that last trailer, which have been edited out to show to you, but, you know, we haven't seen that much. We don't know how good the gameplay is. So people, like, commenting on YouTube videos saying, Battlefield 3 will poon Modern Warfare 3. We don't know that yet. Chill out. The game isn't anywhere near out. I think you should just, if you have the money, buy both. What's the problem with buying both? Give a fair judgment of it. If Modern Warfare 3 is really bad this time, then fair enough. Let the franchise to rest. But if it's not... Why not watch it? That's what I'm saying. Um, and then, Gears of War 3, in my opinion, is the game that I am just most excited for. After playing the beta, I've had solid gameplay, I've had a solid test of that game, the graphics look amazing, the dedicated servers work amazingly well. For once, Gears of War is going to work online. Um, and genuinely, my expectations are highest for that game. I just think there's a lot of solid evidence. And I know Gears of War is kind of a Marmite thing. You either love it or you hate it. I know a lot of people hate it. But I genuinely urge people to uh, try out that game because the beta was great fun. Um, but anyway, I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary, guys. And if you could leave a like or a favourite or a comment just to show support and help this channel grow, that would be really nice of you. Um, 